Good morning everybody, this is Annie from Acorn Internet Services and today we are presenting Educational Byte installment number 016 presented by Acorn Internet Services and today's installment is how to add an image in Blogger. This is a question that comes up quite a bit so we're just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it. So when you're logged into Blogger you want to add an image and what you'll see in your posting screen in the blog editor you've got this what is called a WYSIWYG editor and that's what you see is what you get and today John Harmon from Chansey Hill Inn in Hiawassee Georgia has agreed to let me use his blogger um, account and his website to show you how to insert images so thank you very much John alright so what we're going to do is we're going to put in a picture and on the WYSIWYG editor you can see here where my mouse is pointing it looks like a little Polaroid picture so when you hover over that you can see that the little hover comes up and it says insert image so what you do is you click that and it opens up this whole uh, pop-up and there are several different ways to add photos in the pop-up so the first one says upload and this is how we're going to go pull images that you may have stored on your hard drive so you click choose files and that opens up your um, documents or it will go straight to your pictures folder or it'll go straight to the last folder that you used when you were in blogger and so here you can see I've got some logos if I wanted to add say a Twitter logo into my post because I was doing a post about Twitter I would click Twitter and when you double click it it brings up this image in your um, pop-up and so if you wanted to add that image you would click add selected and then there you would see your image on your blog post but there are other ways than just putting them in from your hard drive so let's go back up here and click this and the next choice is from this blog so we're going to click it and then you can see here we've got all these pictures of Chansey Hill Inn so John had done other blog posts and he had put images in like um, he did images of his sign and um, the restoration work and things that were done on the property and it's going to have all those pictures including this one that I just uploaded which was the um, Twitter symbol so you can see there you've got all your pictures so if you wanted to do that it's the same process you click and then click add selected and it'll put your picture on there's another way if you use Picasso web albums click that and it'll bring up all your albums you click on an album choice and that will open all the pictures in that album and then you can choose that picture and add it in and so there you can see this really cute um, neon breakfast sign that John has at Chansey Hill Inn okay there's one last way what you do is click your little button and go to from a URL and then you'll see it says paste an image URL here so what you want to do is go out and get the URL of the image only so you don't want to put a whole web page URL in here because that's not what you want you just want a picture so say you wanted to get a picture from your website and put it into your blog so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here and this is John's Chansey Hill in bed and breakfast website and so you can see here he's got a lot of really nice pictures but say I wanted to put a picture of this gazebo into the blog one thing I'm going to let you know is anything that you take off the internet you need to make sure it's okay with the owner of the website obviously if it's your own website that's fine but if you're going to go out and take images from other websites you need to make sure it's okay with them first so um, in this case it's fine because it belongs to John and what you're going to get when you take this picture and move it over you're going to get all the formatting that comes along with the picture so in this case we've got a dark red border and then we've got a shadow effect and that is all going to come over with the picture 
So you have to keep that in mind when you're choosing pictures. So if you're in Firefox, what you're going to do is right click and when the pop-up comes up, when you right click, you're going to click copy image location. Because what that will do is bring only the URL just of this picture. And I'll show you what that looks like. So we click that, then we go back over to the blog, and then where it says paste an image URL here, we're just going to paste it in. I'm using control V for victory. It brings up a preview of the image and you can see it brought over the formatting. And what you're going to see up here is it says chancyhillen.com slash images slash image home one JPEG. That's the entire URL of the picture, not just the web page. So that's what that looks like. And then you can click add selected. And that'll add that whole image to the blog. Now, once you have that picture in there, you have some things that you can do with it. So for Twitter, I click on this and you can see this rectangle opens up. It lets you change the size. You can go very, very large. You can go back to original size. You can make it go to the left, the center, or the right. You can add a caption. Oops. And then when you click back on it, say you typed in your caption, you didn't like it, you can click remove caption. It'll take it off. And then you also have the remove option. So if you click that, it takes the picture completely off. So you can do this with all of your pictures. You can go sizing them all over the place. And this one, it makes the picture the original size. So what that does is it brings it in as it's stored in, um, if you remember, we moved this one over from Picasa. So it changes it to the size that it was in Picasa. And then we can move that over. And you can also, but it's a little more difficult, like if you wanted to move this picture up, you can just click on it and try to move it and it it's kind of clunky I'm telling you it's not that easy to do but you can kind you do have some freedom to move your pictures around so that is how you add an image in Google Blogger thank you so much for your time today and thank you for joining us for Acorn Internet Services Educational Byte number 16 how to add an image in Blogger